Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amelia Aston, and today I will be showing you how I light an intention candle. So I start with a candle that has some significance to me. This is one of my own candles that I labeled and wrote the prayer for, so it has meaning. Um, you can use any candle you like. Just have it be something that feels like it has significance and you can make anything have significance, so there's no pressure. Once you've chosen the candle you're gonna use, you'll take a piece of paper and you're gonna write out the intention that you're working with. This could be something you've had on your mind for a while. So say you're working on confidence, light a confidence candle. Say you're working on letting go, light a letting go candle. Say you're really struggling with boundaries and create a boundary candle. It's really should be something that you're truly cultivating right now in your life and is a theme that you would like divine assistance with. Once you've chosen the intention you're gonna do, you're gonna write it out on a piece of paper that you'll eventually put underneath the candle as it burns. Two, have your intention clear, because sometimes I'll light an intention candle and forget whatever the intention was, so it's a nice reminder as well. Once you have your intention written out, mine is to release fear, worry, and energies of untrust. You're gonna choose the candle or take the candle you've chosen, hold it on your heart with your hands and really infuse that wish, that prayer, intention of what you're manifesting or what you're letting go of infusing it with your magic hands into the candle itself once you've done this you'll take your candle and your lighting utensil you're going to put the candle somewhere safe i love to light my candles in a fireplace you can do it in a little bowl of water just have it somewhere that feels safe that you can watch it as it burns and also, as you light it, say a little, just that the candle be protected and, and filled with love. All right, so you're lighting your intention. Yay, there she goes. The other thing is you're really gonna notice how your candle burns down. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples of how candles may burn down. <laughs> this was one I burned that had a lot of black, which indicates either there was a lot of blockages to my intention that needed to be cleared or maybe it wasn't exactly the right intention for the time. And so there were some adjustments to be made. Follow your intuition. You'll kind of feel what the candle is communicating to you. I usually see black smoke as just things that are standing in the way of what you would like to receive. Also, this is another candle that burned clear, for example. This one, there's more little pieces of things on here. So it might indicate, oh, there might be some adjustments required in my life to create space for the wish itself. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the intention you light is also where you are in the stage of what you're creating in your life. For example, if you're calling in love, maybe the first candle you light isn't a come to me candle or a manifest the perfect partner candle. Maybe your first candle is simply self-love, letting go, clearing your heart or healing your heart, having confidence, having knowing how beautiful you are. There are many, processes, there's many stages in allowing the, the love that is for us to come. So just be really honest and authentic about where you are in the process. And this will make the come to me candle that you may light one day so much more powerful because you're really ready to receive that love. Finally, I'm going to show you how to extinguish your candle. So I'm going to use the bottom of this glass that's sitting on this table, <laughs> but you can use anything. Um, I have another extinguisher like this too. The only tip is really don't blow out your candle, allegedly. When we blow out our candles, it kind of cancels out the magic. And it's when we extinguish it, uh, we just pause the prayer or allow it to continue even when the candle isn't burning. So there you go, have some fun with it. I also sell my own individually blessed uh, prayer intention candles on my website, yourlovematters.com. You're welcome to check those out. Use any candle. It can be fun to research what the different colors mean. I'm also going to make a video about how to anoint a candle. That's a really magic process. And in the meantime, have fun with it. Make sure you are watching your candle as it burns and you follow all the classic safety precautions. And really also an important thing is once you burn your candle, once you allow it, I like to try to let it burn all the way down. If you can't do that, that's okay. But as you begin to light it, let it go. Allow the prayer. It is out of your hands now. It's in hands greater to have the magic happen. 
So remember that step of letting go and enjoy. Please let me know how it goes. And I can't wait to hear.